everyone and welcome to Lesson 37. My name is Danielle and it's great to be back with you today. Let's remember together, in Lesson 36, we learned that when we are measuring capacity, we are finding out how much something can hold. How did you go with your home task? Did you find some things at your house that have capacity? I'd like to share what I did. Okay, so at my house, I found a vase that has capacity. I also found and drew a water jug. My son's toy dump truck has a capacity here. It can hold sand or dirt. The milk carton has capacity and so does our cereal bowl. Well done. Our learning intention today is to accurately use informal measuring tools. Now, I need your help. I have a basket of tools here and I need you to help me sort them. We're going to put formal measuring tools on this side and informal measuring tools on this side. Now remember, formal measuring tools have markers or numbers to help show the capacity. Let's take a look. So this big jug on top, I can see straight away that there are markers here. So what do you think? Informal or formal? That's right, formal. Now here, this is a, a scoop that I can use uh, when doing my washing. I don't see markers, so I'm going to say that that is a informal tool. Now, you might have one of these at your house. These are medicine cups. Now, it's very important that these have numbers and markers on here because when you are measuring medicine, you need to know exactly how much you are having. So that one is definitely a formal tool. Okay, oh, you'll have one of these at your house too. This is a teaspoon. Now, these come in all sorts of different sizes. Um, this one is a informal tool. Now this little container here, this is what I use to fill up my iron with water. And there are lines and numbers here. So this is a formal tool. I've got a little bowl here. Looks like a little jelly container. Now this is no markers, there's lines, but that's just a pattern on the bowl. So I'm going to say that that one is an informal tool. Now you might have seen these before. These are measuring cups and these are really handy when you are cooking. So these are formal tools because you can clearly see the measurement of each cup on here. So that goes in this side. Okay, now this is my dropper and this is helpful when counting out water or moving water from one container to another. Now this one is an informal tool, so let's put it over here. Now this is a teeny tiny cup. There's no numbers, there's no lines, so that one is, is a informal tool. Let's put it here. Okay, this jug, you can see numbers and you can see lines and markers. That's right, that's a formal tool. Now here is another spoon. Have a look. They are different sizes, aren't they? So this is another, oh, I've just noticed, a third spoon. So can you see these are all different sizes? These are informal tools. Our last tool here, ah, now these are formal measuring spoons. They all have a specific measurement written on, so they're going to go in this side. Thank you for helping me sort. Here are all our formal measuring tools, and over here are all our informal measuring tools. Great job.
Now, before we use our formal measuring tools, we first need to know how to use the informal measuring tools. Today, we're going to learn how to use the informal tools accurately. Today, we are going to measure the capacity of this mug. We are going to use sand. Now, let's remember the words that will be very helpful when we are measuring. We have pour, brim, scoop, level, full, empty, half full and half empty, holds more, holds less, nearly full and nearly empty. Now, I need your help. If I was to measure the capacity of this mug here, my first job is to choose an appropriate informal measuring tool. I've got two cups here. Which one should I use? What do you think? Do you think it's this one? Hmm, no, I think this one is too big. I'd like to be more accurate. I'm going to use this cup. Okay, so I'm going to scoop, using our word, scoop the sand. Now, when we are uh, measuring, we need to make sure that the cup is full. So what do you think? Is that full? No, we'll scoop a bit more. And I need to make sure that it is level. So I'm gonna use my hand here to flatten it so the scoop is level. Then very carefully, I'm going to tip. And as I tip, I need to count. So that is one. Okay, let's try again. Scoop, make sure it's level and pour. Count with me. Two. What do you think? Is that full? No. What words might we use to describe the capacity so far? Yeah, maybe half full. Let's keep going. Let's make it level and pour. That makes three. It's not full yet. Scoop, make it level. Okay, this is number four. Not quite. Scoop, level and pour. Five, I'm just going to flatten it so it's level. Oh, it's not quite full. Let's try one more. Scoop and level very carefully. And I'm going to pat it down. What do you think, everyone? Is it full to the brim? I think so. So the mug has a capacity of six little cups. Let's record that. I'm going to draw my mug first. Here's the mug and here's the handle. And I'm going to write what I discovered, the measurement, I'm going to write that the capacity is, how many was it? That's right, six little cups. The capacity is six little cups and there's our mug. Hmm, I'm just thinking, I think I need more information here. I've said the capacity is six little cups, but I'm going to add of sand, just so that everyone knows what I used to scoop to fill the cup. So the capacity is six little cups of sand. Now we're going to measure the capacity of this salad bowl. First, I need to choose my tool. I have a cup or a spoon. What shall I choose? I'm going to try the spoon. Scoop, level, pour. Hmm, I'm worried this is going to take way too long. I think I'll use the cup. 
Let's start again. Okay. That's better. Okay. Scoop. Level. Pour. That's one. Scoop. Level. Pour. Two. Are you counting with me? Scoop. Level. Pour. That's three. Let's scoop again. Level. And pour. Four. Do you think we're halfway yet? Five. Let's scoop again. This will be number six. Nearly there. Scoop again. This will be number seven. Let's scoop. Make sure it's level. Okay. Eight. Let's keep going. Scoop. Level. Pour. Nine. It's nearly full. Scoop. And ten. Now I'm just going to give this a little shake to make sure this is level as well. So that was 10. This will be 11. Scoop, level, pour, 12. Oh, here we go. Scoop again, nice and flat or level. Pour it in. This is 13. I'll give it one more shake. Make sure this is level. Okay. Scoop and pour. So this was 14. What do we think? I'm going to flatten it out. Mm, it is nearly full. I think one more. Scoop. Level. I'm going to do this one very carefully because it's so close to the brim. Here we go. And I'll pat it down. What do you think, everyone? Is it full? Full to the brim? Okay, there we go. It is full to the brim. So we would say that this salad bowl has a capacity of 15 cups of sand. Well done, great counting. Now, when I record it this time, I'd like to do it in another way. So I'm first going to draw the salad bowl. And I'm going to draw my cup. And this will be the sand. And here's an arrow to show that I scooped, made it level, poured it into the salad bowl, and it was 15. That was my total. It took 15 cups to fill the salad bowl. So I'm going to write 15. Well done, everyone. Now, you might have joined me in previous lessons where we came up with some top tips to help us when we were measuring length. Here are some top tips to help us when we're measuring capacity. Let's take a look. So, tip number one is to choose the best informal measuring tool. Now, we did that today, remember? We looked at the two different tools and we thought that the spoon was going to take far too long, so we changed our mind and went with the cup. It was, it was more appropriate. Tip number two is to make sure that the scoop is level. So I did that with the sand. I would scoop and I used my hand to make it level. We counted as we went. 
we had to make sure tip number four is to fill to the brim. Now we have to fill our scoop to the brim as well as the container that we're trying to find out the capacity of. And our last tip, tip number five, is to say the total and the unit after measuring. So we discovered that the salad bowl had a capacity of 15 cups of sand. In this lesson, we have worked out some top tips for accurately measuring how much something holds, its capacity. Make sure when you're measuring at home to use these top tips. Today, we used informal measurement. Thank you for joining me today. See you next time.